Monday, January 18, 2016. It is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Welcome to the show. Yes. And, um, His birthday was actually... January 15th. Yes, right, exactly. And he would be 87 years old today. 87. Yes, but I think it's, it's amazing to honor his legacy and all the things that he did. And um, happy, happy Martin Luther King Day to everybody. <laughs> How you doing? I'm great. How are you? You know what? I had a great weekend, but you know what's even better? What I've learned, what? And which I'm so happy about, because I'm at that point where I thought was point where I thought was going to happen to me. Uh huh. Saw this in the paper. There's yeah. no such thing as a midlife crisis. <laughs> yep. Yep. There's no such thing. He did a study, right? He took a, a group of college graduates and students, and they followed them into middle age, uh -huh. and they reported that bliss grew steadily. Like, you got happier from 18 into the 30s and early 40s. And only a slight dip in cheer at the age of 43. Oh, that is but so true. 43 was a horrible year. But, <laughs> but they say that people get happier in middle age. It's not the other way. When there's no midlife crisis, where well, you're like... Yeah. Breading. I just remember when I turned 43, um, I mean, I'm hoping to remember this when I get there. Um, no, but I, I remember turning 43 and somebody saying to me, it's going to be a rough year. And I was like, really? Because I, I really enjoyed t turning 40. Like, I enjoyed mm -hmm. it. I, I didn't dread it the way I dreaded turning 30. Like, turning 30, I dreaded. Turning 40, I was like, I felt like I would never, ever turn 30 again if you paid me. I wanted, like, I enjoyed 40. Yeah. And somebody said, you haven't turned 43 yet. And I was like, what could be so bad? And I swear to God, I think I, like, I broke, ev I broke bones. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm a bony. Well, you know, but, it, it, um, it's, it's, yeah, but I, I'm 40, like, I, 43 was my, last year, was, yeah. I was 40. I had a great year. You did. I, I really did. I feel better now than when I was 25. And, yeah. and But it's amazing because I, you, you look at all the football players, and, um, you know, earlier this year, Terry Bradshaw had his knee replacement mm -hmm. during the season. Yeah. And now, all the, every time, you know, you're just going, oh, I feel great, and the guys go, you just I like. say that to my trainer, Anna, all the time, because she'll, like, she's like, come on, come on. Ten more, come on, you know, and and I'm like, and I get my, my water and I go, and I said, in ten years I want you to do ten more and we'll talk about it <laughs> yeah. because it's like, yeah, your body there's changes, something your body changes, changes. right? I, but my, your happiness does not have to change, yeah, my happiness even though you get change. older, okay? didn't change. I just feel like I feel things more now yeah. than I used to. You I, know, I hurt my wrist cutting a piece of birthday cake. Exactly. Right. And I was like, right. you know what hurt my wrist cutting? No, it wasn't a birthday cake. It was a cake at a party when you, you were getting your Hollywood Walk of Fame star. We had the party at Brian and Bruce's house. Oh, you're kidding. And that cake was there and the instead cake, of cutting the cake like that. Was that, that the cake with the Shaquille O'Neal cake? Yes. Yeah, that's right. So instead of cutting the cake like that, I decided to get fancy and cut it like that. <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm walking around for for a week uh, with a wrist that was out of whack. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's like, uh, that was, and I was 43 at the time. See, I told you. What, what did I say? Yeah. It's like, it's, physically, it's a weird year. It's like a year that, like, puts, like, bad mojo on but you. But at the same time, I'm happy I made it. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. I'm but I feel I much it. better now. That is true. Except that I... Except that I have this horrible injury on my finger. I'm just kidding. I've been I've been uh, moaning and complaining backstage because I think I hurt myself. I'm not sure doing push-ups or something, and I broke a blood vessel. <laughs> Damn! I was like, "What's wrong with my finger?" He said, "Oh, you broke a blood vessel in yeah, your I'm finger, like, right?" Yeah, like And, I would, and then I've been trying to get to go home early today. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't worked yet. I have to go. I'm injured. But it's funny, somebody tweeted the other day and said, Michael Strahan's hands look like football players' his hands should look. Which I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Because my hands are ugly. They're not you ugly. You think they're nice? I feel ugly. You felt my hands? <laughs> hey. Do you know, lady, a lot of people don't know this about Michael. He sits backstage with his hands in a paraffin bath. <laughs> I I used to not here. No, but we had we had one of those at the stadium. So you put your hand in it, and it was kind of fun. I was kidding. <laughs> oh, 
one. <laughs> that was yeah, for my boy. That was in the locker room. You we mean had. I was right about that. Guessing That's the fast. most preposterous thing I possibly could guess. <laughs> And it was true. We, I had to do the pair of Oh, minutes. my gosh. You football players is, are so spoiled. There is no shame in taking care of yourself. Oh, my gosh. I you mean, feel good. You look good. You play good. <laughs> the way I, I would at. think your hands would be too soft and too slippery to actually, actually hang on to somebody. Well, between all the lifting of the weights and all that stuff, and you're just banging into people all the time, you got to do a little TLC on your hands. Get a little oh. hand massage. Get the pair of There's wax. the cake. Yeah, you found yeah, the cake. I found, yeah, I found the, this is the picture of the oh, cake. That's the yeah, Michael that's the was, shot uh, cake, yeah. That, hurt my, that, sh that cake's that's, bringing back bad memories. Yeah, yeah. And that's Jonathan Tucker's wife, Tara. That's Tucker's wife. Ah, yeah, for a yeah. small person, you're, you're kind of a big deal. For a small person, I'm kind of a big deal, Gelman, yeah. and you should remember that. I remember. <laughs> You know, do you order um, food online Sometimes, here, like yeah. Fresh Direct? I do. I do like um, staples. You know, like uh, bottled water, yeah. um, certain like not, not staples. Other things you like to go yeah, and see like yourself. Yeah, like fresh produce. I need to pick out the produce myself. I need to pick out the, the vegetables myself. Yeah, but I'm, like, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. But for a lot of people, you know, they don't. They just order it on Fresh Direct, and then you order like the day before. Mm -hmm. But it's so competitive out there with all these companies of yeah. deliveries and everything that now Fresh Direct has this new service called Food kick uh. where they can have have the food to your door within an hour within an hour of ordering and um, the company's gonna kick off food kick delivery for the first 30 days it's gonna be free and then it's $3.99 for a, a two-hour or longer window, and for $5.99 for a one-hour delivery. It is like a hermit's dream, isn't it? You never have to leave your house. I mean, part of going to the grocery store is just the endless begging that the kids are like, can we get this? Can we get that? Can we get this? And think you about know. and you got an app, so you don't have to send it to your house. With the app, you can send it to wherever you are. You can be in meetings, anything, but within an hour. I think it's great. I think we're just we are just such a convenient society. Pretty soon drones are gonna drop, you know, your stuff off at your house anyway. But I, I think this is just awesome, especially when you live in the city. It's a lot easier to make that happen. Easier for um, elderly people, too. Yeah, easy if you're if you're if you're older, especially you're, you're elderly, good for the elderly. That's yeah. awesome. Great yeah. service. But all, but again, these are things that like make me nervous because, and I'll tell you why, we are starting to, uh, I was watching my daughter and her friends the other day, they had, the, I can't call it a, you know, they don't call them play dates, they call them like hangouts or whatever, they were hanging out. And this is what hanging out to teenagers looks, looks like. Gelman, can I have your phone? <laughs> What's your password? Yeah. What's your password and your credit card number? <laughs> so, group... <laughs> Get on your phone, Michael. Now. I go, you guys could actually sit at home and do this with each other. <laughs> like, you could do this in your own homes because there's no interaction. But are they texting each other? I'm not, not sure what's happening in there. It is, it is like, you know, it is a hormone factory. I stay out of there. I'm afraid. You walk, you walk in and somebody bursts into tears. I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta go. But that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot different because because we had, um, you know, if somebody came over to play, your your parents kicked you out the house. They didn't want a friend messing up the house. Right. It's like both of y'all get out of here, come back when the light, lights come on. You know, that's just the way it works. My girlfriend and I still do that. <laughs> we still like if if we have company coming over and our kids play, like it, I'll say, can they go to your house because I have company coming over? I and I just I don't want to mess up the house. Right? Yeah. You do that. Yeah. We do that for each other. And our sons are like constantly being kicked out of the house because company's coming over. They're like. Oh, company's coming over. And that, it's, a, it's like almost like a lost art. Conversation is a lost art. <laughs> Gilman, you're gonna love these later. <laughs> right now, the phone is like. Ah! <laughs> oh man! But you know what? <laughs> The, law, the conversation is a lost art, but it is not lost on us because we're going to talk our way into another great show today, everybody. It's a great show today, everybody. Yes. The absolutely lovely and delightful Patricia Arquette is here. Yeah. Um, from, the, from the blacklist, the talented Megan Boone is here. Yeah. CeeLo. And um, our new, new Year, New You series continues with some apps 
that can change your life. So we're going to show you different apps. You mean apps, like this kind of thing? Like this kind of yeah. thing. So when you sit with the kids, just like that. Right. Different apps that are going to change your life for the new year. Now, cover the coffee and the tea and whatever else we're drinking. Get your balls ready. Get your balls ready. The, the dance dancer is ready to go. She's got her scarf on, and it is time for our Yay. Snow Wild Travel Trivia. That's Christy Gugliametti. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? I did good. She said you Thank did good. Gugliametti. Italian. Wow, Gugliametti. wow. very Thank good. You. I know my people. And great job, by the, great job, by the way. Thank you. Love you. Love your best. You're looking very cozy over there. Now let's say hello to Christina Rilke from Effort, Pennsylvania. Hello, Christina. How are you? Good. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Michael. Hey. Hey, Christina. Wait a minute. Wow. That's Are you? Cool. That looks. Cool. That looks like Lake Louise. Remember in Lake Louise, yeah, they had the beautiful no. ice sculptures. Yeah. Where Where is that picture being taken? Um, that's Blue Mountain. It's uh, Poconos, Pennsylvania. Beautiful. My goodness. Very, very nice. Mm. So, um, uh, what are you doing today out in Effort, Pennsylvania? Uh. Home with the kids, uh, relaxing a little bit, freezing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. all freezing Get a little bit. Get used to it. <laughs> June, June is right around the corner, I'm told. Oh, yeah. um, anyway, I hope so. we're going to spin the wheel so we are playing for you. Christina, here's a great, here's a great prize. The Buccaneer in St. Croix. Seven Whoa. days and six nights in a deluxe oceanfront room. Everybody, Everybody, Everybody was oohing and on like they're going. That's why. <laughs> hey, it includes, includes what? Wow. All three meals? <laughs> Boy, Gelman, you spared no expense here. <laughs> this trip is provided in part, part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,500. Wow. Christina, you have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck. You ready, Christina? Yeah. Here we go. We've had Downton Abbey star Hugh Bonneville on the show. In what 2014 family film did we say you starred? In what 2014 family film did we say you Bonneville starred? Um, Notting Hill? No. That was um, Hugh Grant. Yes. I love that movie. Yeah, that was, yeah awesome. that was a good love yes. story. Yeah. Julia yeah. Roberts, oh, had me yeah. crying on the couch, yeah. girl. <laughs> it was um, Paddington. Paddington, yeah. Sorry, Christina, but you're still going to get a great prize. You and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive uh, $500 in movie tickets from Fandango. Yeah. Yeah. Pick a number between one and two hundred and twenty-seven. Um, seventeen. Seventeen. There we go. All right, Christina. Thank you for playing. Congratulations, young lady. Everybody, stay. Come back. Patricia, be here with us. Still ahead on live performance by CeeLo Green from the Blacklist, Megan Boone. Our New Year, New You series continues with a look at some life-changing apps. And coming up next, Patricia Arquette. Great to see you. Have a seat. Hi, guys. So great to hey. see you. Thanks for having me back. We, you know, we can't have you here enough. Okay. We would pull, if you would agree to come here every day, we would pull up a third chair. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> And now you won everything. I, I'm going to have to read this off. It's the Oscars, the Golden Globe, the SAG, the New York Critics Film Circle Award, the Los Angeles Film Critics, and the Independent Spirit Awards for your role. I know. Unbelievable. In the yeah, Academy great. Award, of course, for Best Supporting Actress. Where do you keep your Oscar and where do you keep all these other things? Uh, in the, the breakfast room. Some <laughs> kids like puppets. Right. It's kind of like arts Homemade. and crafts, right. and wow. This is really a beautiful way. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's something about you, you that is so maternal to me. I, I, 
I just love watching you, watching you play a mom um, because I just think you are a naturally maternal person. And last time you were here, we talked about the idea of you maybe becoming a midwife. Do you mm -hmm. still think about doing that? Yeah, I think so. it was. I was always going to be an act wife. Mm -hmm. So I think at some point I'll go back and be a midwife. <laughs> right, right. And also maybe run an orphanage. When I really? met my boyfriend, yeah, he was like, what do you see yourself doing when you're 60, 65? I was like, and he never really wanted to have kids. I was like, well, how do you feel about 45 kid kids? Uh -huh. 50 kids, maybe? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I'm down. That'd be great. You know, I He's could, a painter. He's like, I'll teach him how to paint. I could totally That's, you doing that. The one thing about you being maternal, but you, you do care about other people. And, and looking at your Oscar speech, that was a great indication of that. You talked about, about pay quality and high in and, and, and Hollywood and all these different things. And but the no, but I wasn't talking about Hollywood. Just period, in life. Yeah, because it's 98% of all industries. And in America, one in five kids are hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 33 million women and kids are in poverty. And kids are in poverty. But if the mom was making her full dollar, yeah, 33. Governor, he came out with the new law, and it based on pretty much what you started. Governor Brown is such a friend to women, and such mm -hmm. a he really looks. He's so he really looks. He's so fiscally responsible. He got California in out of the red, and he looked at what this economic impact on women and children. Because we don't live in this world anymore where the male's necessarily the breadwinner. Right. Only 30% of families in America today live that same way. Right. Yeah. Or, or, or even if there's a man in the home sometimes. I mean, there's so Oftentimes many of these Oftentimes you're women, contributing I mean, to getting together that's right. to try to make a family income. Well, and a large proportion are, are single. Yes, a believer, you do the same. That's the way it works. Yeah, that's how yeah, life should that's work. how it should right. work. Yeah. And we're going to take a, big, a quick break. And now when we come back, you're on this show, CSI Cyber, but you're going to tell us why the Internet terrifies you when we come back. So I can't wait to hear about that from Patricia Arquette. So stay right there. CSI, CS agent A. Tell us about the season. What's going on with your character? Well, Ted Danson came on in this season, Love and Ted so Danson. he brings this amazing energy, and it's super fun on the set, and everybody loves him. Um, and, and they've written some great stories this year. We've had some really great projects, and our whole team's gun, done great. Our whole team's gun, done great acting. Uh, so we look at all cyber crimes, and it's terrible. And so all these stories, real, real, real tech work of all these, these cyber psychologists, which it's really, it's really incredible. I didn't know you could do that. I'm going to wear gloves next next time I do something. <laughs> 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 yes, the next time you commit a crime, make sure you're wearing gloves. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, uh. But, but are you, but, but be, be, being on this show, being on a show like this, does it make you more tech savvy and tech minded? It makes, it makes me more tech terrified. I mean, right. look, here's the thing. I've had people send emails all over town saying they're me. Because you can set up an email, Patricia Arquette. 425 at Gmail or mm -hmm. whatever. Send people emails. Unless you, unless you see my face and I'm saying, hi, Michael, hi. I would like to say blah, blah, blah. It may not be the person you th think you're communicating with. Yeah. All these elderly people are getting ripped off, these yeah. fake lotteries. Mm -hmm. I mean, all kinds of insanity is going on. With our kids, it's incredibly dangerous. Yeah. There's geotags that are secretly in photographs. You've got to make sure your locations are turned off when people are taking pictures or people can see the address of your house. Oh. Wow. I mean, it's really scary. Now, being that you're on this show, does it make your daughter listen to you when you're like, hey, you know? I have been saying this to her for so long. She's like, mom, 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 whatever. And then she'll go, she'll go sneak off with my boyfriend. They'll watch their show, which is right. my show. Right. And, and then she'll go, you have to be careful with your technology, mom. And she yeah, she listens you. to my right. character, but she doesn't listen to me in real life. <laughs> because, because your character is not her mom. the distinction. Her character is not her mom. Exactly. You can always listen to uh, adults who are not your parents. Mm -hmm. But we have you here. Congratulations oh, on everything. Yeah. You deserve it all. And it is the show is CSI Cyber. It airs Sundays at 10 p.m. on CBS. Make sure you go check out our kid, everybody.
uh, welcome back to the show Thanks. and congratulations. Yeah. Uh, You're a baby. My first child. So how do you <laughs> Who did that to you? <laughs> my fiance, Dan. Fiance, did you get engaged? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we definitely were in it for the long haul when we made a human. Yeah. <laughs> when, when did you get engaged? Uh, oh gosh, it, you know, all around all this. All around? <laughs> yeah. Now, now, do you do you know what you're having? You're having? Can you, you can tell us what you're having? I can actually. I haven't told anybody yet, but I'm I'm gonna have a. <gasps> yeah. I'm gonna have a daughter. It's like uh, get ready for the ride of your life. I know. Yeah. It's already. It's no. It's no. It's true though. <laughs> Thank heaven for little girls. That's a song for a reason. They're special. They're like magic. I know. Dan's in trouble. Uh, he's in big well, trouble. Yeah, trouble. Yeah, 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 Dan's in trouble. He's Believe right. me. He's I have just, three girls. I yeah. know. <laughs> no. So, do you have a? You know, everybody always asks this. Uh, do you have cravings or food that like uh, affects you in a certain way? The coolest thing about pregnancy for me is that your body just craves what it wants, and then also you can gotta be like, I'm just gonna eat this because I'm pregnant. Right. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try to use that excuse; they won't believe it. Uh, me. <laughs> I'll have that extra piece of pear cake, whatever deliciousness. And uh. I, yeah, I had like, like for instance, like yesterday, I, I really wanted a steak salad and some lemongrass soup. Oh, that's, together. Wow. That's, that's good. And I, I guess they yeah, just yeah. needed it. And yeah, well, vitamin C in the lemongrass soup, for mm -hmm. sure. Oh. Folic acid. Um, steak, just because it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So, and then I, I was eating the soup and... Um, it had some green beans in it, and one of them was purple. And I didn't think of anything of it. And as I was chewing it, this heat started to like rise in my mouth, like elevate, and I was elevate, and I was like, Bleh. like a spicy pepper. And yeah, there was red inside the oh. purple, and then it just got worse and worse and worse. And I had tears coming out of my eyes, and I walked out, and I went to craft services. I got some milk, and I was chugging milk. And then five minutes later, she just started just going ballistic, renovating. How dare you? <laughs> renovating. She was renovating in there. In there. <laughs> she was going. This is an outrage! She was like in fried green tomatoes. She was like, Tawanda! <laughs> and I just thought, oh my God, what have I done to my baby? I just can't protect her from the brutality of the world. Of the world. Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> but I can just introduce her to it. She's going to like spicy food, though, I bet. I, I bet she'll like spicy food. Really? Yeah, yeah. So now, what's going on on the show? Are they going to write the baby into the story? Can you tell us that? Well, we have a lot of really big turns coming up, so I can't, I mean, you know that she's gone through the legal process and been exonerated for most of the, the mm -hmm. crimes. But, you know, there are ways to cover up pregnancy. A lot of women have done it. Uh, Carrie Washington and Julie Louis. Mm -hmm. Julie mm -hmm. Louis Dreyfus was actually pregnant on Seinfeld for a season. Many Had people no don't know that. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, is this the close up right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's not pregnant. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then is this yeah. my wide over here? We Let's still see. look not pregnant. Oh, there you go. Pregnant. <laughs> yeah. That's how okay, you do Not pregnant. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So that's how they do it. Yeah. That's how they do it. No, I did. No, I did it on the, when I was on a soap. But I was so pregnant that you could tell I was pregnant from beneath my eyes down. So they buried. So they buried me alive in a cave. Oh. I'm not kidding. That is that is a true story. I was so that you know. First it was like. Then it was a suitcase. Then they would hide me behind doors. Then I didn't get out of a sofa for like at three months. And then like. <laughs> You're so big, we're going to bury you alive in a cave. <laughs> it's true. It's that's, true. That's it's when very you know, true. That's when you know you're not carrying well. <laughs> that's when you put down the pear yeah. tart. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to eat that sandwich with my husband trapped in between the two loaves of bread. <laughs> and now, um, on the Black Season 3, play Elizabeth Keene. Uh -huh. Everybody loves the show. Yeah, yeah. And um, I know you can't give up a lot because you said there's so many twists and turns, but what's going on with her this season that you can tell us, that you can tell us about? Well, she was on the run for the first half of the season, yeah. so you, you've seen her mostly as blonde, right? right. So she disguised herself, she went in, and then um, she was arrested by one of her coworkers. They were actually chasing her down, her family, her work family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so there was... Um, um, a lot of tension there. She went to prison. She was really kind of like ostracized by society because they thought that she was, she had committed all these horrendous acts of terror. And, and, uh, it's dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> dramatic. 
stuff. And you know, last time you were here, one of my favorite things, and, and, and you're so, such a sweetheart, that you made artwork for us. Oh, yes. Oh, you remember. Yes. You remember. Yes. Which we love, by the way. Mine yes. is at, my, in, at home in my office. Mine is as well. Beautiful. Yeah. You're, you're a very talented artist. Thank you. But Thank we want to do something for you. That's right. It's our turn to give Are you Are you serious? Yes. yes. Okay. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. It's not art. Don't be no. afraid. <laughs> we would never give you one. Oops. Aww. Oh, look. Aww. Look for the baby. <laughs> for the baby. For the baby. for you. I really, you are in for it. It's so exciting. Congratulations on the engagement. Congratulations yeah. on Mimi. Congratulations just for getting married as well. Oh yeah, congratulations, KG. Yes, congratulations on all of that. Your family. You had a lot of great things yeah. happening for you. We wish you continued success. It is The Blacklist. It's Thursday at 9 p.m. on NBC. Give it up for the very talented, lovely Megan Boone, everybody. New Year, New You uh, series with life-changing mobile apps. That's right. Uh, so simple and easy to use to organize your life. Here with all the information is the chief correspondent from Mashable, Lance Ulanoff. Hi, Lance. Hey. How are you? Good. So, good. so Lance, um, New Year, New You. What? New Year, New You, what apps do you have that are going to help us be better? All right, so, you know, it's all about improving your life, improving your mind, your body, the mm -hmm. way you eat, your finances, your organization. And, you know, each thing starts simply. So this is called KFK. It's $2.99. And the idea is that you're not going to run a 5K race day one. You're going to go through a, going to go through a, a week's-long process. And three times a week, 30 minutes a day, you're going to train for it. And then with this app, you're going to be able to find 5K events mm -hmm. in your oh, area wow. that you can basically sign up for, but it's going to take you a few weeks to do it. Do it. So when you are working out and taking care of your body, you may be part of a gym. You don't always have the right class. This pass is mm -hmm. all about paying $125 a month to have access to classes anywhere in your neighborhood, all different kinds of workouts, all different, what you need, you look at levels, you even look at them, do they have a shower? Yes, you sign up and go for it. Wow. That's you want, idea. if you want, if you want, by the way, to feel better, you've got to eat better, right? I'm signing up for something right now. Yeah, you're taking a class. <laughs> That's totally class fine. Right That's now. totally fine. You're taking a class. <laughs> My Fitness Pal, this is from Under Armour. This is about managing your calories. This is about knowing your food intake. This is about when you've got something, you want to add food and for breakfast. And for breakfast today, we're going to have, let's see, let's, uh, Let's say we're going to say breakfast. We're going to scan in, scan in our food. And why does this matter? So okay. let's just see. We'll wow, scan it scan in. It scan it in. Why is this powerful? Now I know this is 190 calories. It's got 10 grams of fat. And this is all in the app. Actually track what you eat. And this also allows you to track exercise and work with a community. Because a lot of people work out, but they right. just the diet part is where there's a disconnect. Okay. That's right. I get so to eat more calories. How, than how you. can you have a better life? You can be more centered. You can know more about yourself. Mindfulness. So here's a meditation app called Headspace. This is free. Oh, it's, it's got 10 different. Here is one of the sessions. Sessions. This so guy, British voice, good. very comfortable. Oh my God, he's talking. That was confusing me. It okay. says 10 minutes a day. It's free. And if you want to buy more sessions or single apps, you can do that and can do that and feel better. Here's another way to feel better. When you wake up in the morning, you probably feel a little groggy. So Sleep Cycle, which is a free app, it's Sleep Cycle Alarm Clock. What this does is it's next to your bed, Sleep Cycle, and you've said, I got to wake up at 5.30. You say it starts from 5 to 5.30 in the morning, listening to your breathing and movement, wakes you up in the lightest part of your sleep. You wake up feeling fantastic. And you'll never be late, by the way, because you will wake up on time. What? Wake up on time. What? This is true. This is real. This I'll is happening. I wake up happy. <laughs> <laughs> So this right. is um, okay. I like that one. That one I'm giving. Yeah, I think it's a really cool one. You also, if you can do sound or you can do motion, 
Anyone Tell me, are your passwords good here? You've got to get rid of password, password one, two, three. Two apps that I love, one password and LastPass. They let you just do one master password, and you can do it with either one of them or LastPass. And then what you can do is let it generate all of your passwords for you, store them for you. Better yet, both of them now let you unlock with just your fingerprint. Wow. wow. Which is, I, is, I, I, I have so many passwords, I just don't know where yes, to begin. Yes, and this is, you don't have to remember them anymore. It's time to stop. Well, okay. you know what? We have to take a break. We have to take a break. Uh, coming up next, we're going to talk about a free apps that can save you money. That can save you money. Wow. Yes. How about that? Okay. Wow, I like that. So, uh, more with Lance Yulinoff when we return. starting in 10 minutes, so we have to bounce. Yeah, yeah we got to hurry everyone. up. <laughs> <laughs> like we, There's another one called LastPass. Last pass, right, pass, those okay. are for managing your passwords. But how about managing your money? 2016, you say, I'm going to get my finances in order, finances in order, and there are apps that help you do it. This is, from Mint, this is called Mint from Intuit. Okay. And this, everything, you pour your account, watches your spending habits, it tracks your billing, it tells you when you have to take care of certain things. I mean, I love some of the, you know, the way it tracks, you know, the way it tracks stuff and some of these graphs graphics here, looking at your spend, your food and your dining, all of your stuff, I don't have to pay anything because it's always reminding you. But what if, what if you could be making money while you're buying stuff, stuff uh -huh. with all the spare change? Because when you buy something, it's not always an exact dollar. Yeah. Acorns is your solution. This is this is such a cool idea and such a cool app because basically what you've got here is an app that takes all the extra dollars, the extra change, and invests it for you. There's actually an investment portfolio. You can track it. You can see how what you've rounded up to wow. when you've a, you've actually put money. Sorry, when you've actually put money into it and see just how much you've done. It's nothing. And you're making money. It's a. That's I love a the. Idea. I love the idea of that. So like, so if something costs ninety eight cents, you round it up to a dollar. Yeah, exactly. Cents and it, it takes it two you. cents, and sometimes fifty cents, and sometimes seventy five cents, wow. and it's right in there. I want to talk a little bit about organization and mainly about managing your photos, your oh, digital photos, my God. Google Photos. It came out this summer. What a fantastic idea. Every photo that you take is automatically stored in their cloud. You never have to think about it again. You just have to tell them what to do, what to do with it. It watches all your photos. Even as an assistant, it'll tell you, oh, maybe you can make a great collage here. Also, if your friends are posting photos that you want to see, you can see them. And I know everybody wants to see that photo. Yeah. It's horrifying. So I can uh, take all of my nude photos of myself. Those are not, those are not the photos I am talking about. Oh. Uh, but it's unlimited backup for your standard. You want the full resolution, your storage. And one last thing, because I've always wished that I could do this, called Duolingo. This is about learning a new language. <laughs> it has all different, it's French, Spanish, German, Danish, Swedish, tons of languages for free. These lessons are great because it walks you through and with I'm visuals and working. teaches you a little bit each day how to, I'm not getting this right. I, I, I am. So, La Nina, you can hear it does it through both audio and graphics, and you learn how to speak these languages in a few weeks. <laughs> so, like a bottle of water. By the end of 2016, maybe you know a few languages. I like this. Like a bottle of water is um, El Agua. La Nina. No, I'm not getting it Apple right. Apple is... La manzana. La manzana. No, I even got the accent El now. Manzana. Maybe I can. They, can I learn? Come can I learn um, uh, British accent? Check. British accent from this? I'm still. A, a British, whatever accent you want. I can use this to like. I can fight with my husband just over the thing. I'll just like. Add, I'll say what I want to say, and then I just press. And send. he said, "Well, there and you right, go. And then and there you go. You got right. to what language does he speak? Spanish. Oh, uh, it's of Italian. Course. Italian. Yeah." All right, well, thank you, Lance, for all your help, man. We appreciate it. I'm yeah, going to utilize yeah, the few of these guys myself. If everybody should stay right there when we come back, the talented CeeLo Green will be here with us. Enter live news. For tickets to join us at our After Oscar show in California, go to our website, livekellyandmichael.com. Hey. Yeah. That's simple. You can be there with us. 
Cage will be here. And we have a performance by Our, Our City. So cool. But right now, CeeLo Green is a Grammy Award-winning superstar. His new CD, Heart Blanche, is available now. Here's CeeLo Green with Music to My Soul.